coach. Weekend's over. You guys pick up two more today. Uh, just walk us through what happened. Well, today uh, it, all, it all started in the circle. Uh, we got two great starts. Holly in game one threw really well. Uh, and then Arizona has a perfect game going into the last inning. So uh, obviously she, she threw well. Uh, then we got some great, nice plate appearances also. Uh, but uh, again, we, we hit up and down the lineup, which is, which is key. Uh, anytime that we can put pressure on a team and show that we can hit one through nine, that's big. Uh, offensively today, uh, Annie Bacon was, was huge in the nine spot. Uh, I think she had four hits, uh, two hits each game. Uh, hit her first home run of the season. So if she's if she's doing things in the nine hole, uh, our one, two, three can produce a lot of runs. So uh, it, it was nice again to to see us run the base as well, get a couple more bunt hits down, and then uh, and then to hit the I think the three home runs that we did, uh, three or four home runs that we did. It's, it was big. So we, we, we got a great all around performance. We played good defense. We swung the bats well, and then we were really solid in the circle. Yeah, we talked about the Angela Maria a little bit as well. Two home runs for her today, plus making her first appearance in the circle and getting the save against St. Bonaventure. Just talk about what she's brought to the lineup so far and uh, making her first appearance. Well, and Nina's been solid and had some really good at bats uh, all season long so far, but she showed that uh, she can hit the long ball. She's got a couple doubles, so uh, she's been really solid in the middle of our lineup. Uh, we when we recruited her, we knew that she'd come in here and hit, but uh, I think it's been a little quicker than we thought that she, she'd work her way in the, in the middle of our lineup. Uh, she finally got her first appearance in the circle today. We got six pitchers, so uh, trying to space out innings, but she, she did a good, good job of coming in at AZ in relief and uh, th throwing th basically three solid innings, almost three complete, two and two-thirds innings. Uh, but to come in and not, not give up any runs of her own, uh, she, did, she did a solid job mixing speeds and uh, keep, keeping the score where it was. Uh, but all around, it was a, a complete team effort in both games and a uh, complete team effort all weekend long. Anytime you come in and go 6-0 and for a weekend, a lot of things have uh, got to go well. And we, we pitched well all weekend, we hit well all weekend, and uh, couldn't be more excited about uh, the results that we had going 6-0. and You and I talked a little bit before the game just about this, but one of the best starts that CSU softball has had in program history. 12 and 3 after the first three weekends. Uh, what's been key to that uh, hot start? I, I think the key is uh, being multidimensional, being able to do uh, a lot of things well. Uh, last year we had a lot of power, but if we weren't hitting the ball out of the park or those winds blowing in, we, we struggled scoring at times. Uh, our pitching has, has really done well, but we've showed that uh, with the athleticism that our roster has, that we can do a lot of different things, uh, which everyone's going to see from our team. Uh, when they when they start watching us, when conference teams start watching us, they're going to realize that we, we do a lot more than we did in the past. Last year, uh, we really focused on hopefully hitting that two, three run home run at times. And now it's bump for a hit, moving runners over, stealing bases. And then obviously we're, we're still able to drive the ball out of the park. So uh, that's been the key so far. I'm, I'm really proud of the girls and, and the way they've, they've been working, the way the, the aggressiveness that they've been playing with. Uh, to be off to a 12 and 3 start like we are is uh, exciting. Uh, and, it, and it should be building confidence. Confidence is so big with this sport. We should have confidence in the circle. We should have had confidence offensively and defensively both right now. Uh, but we've shown that we can play an all around, like I said, multi dimensional game, which is key. Annie, the offense has uh, slowly come together. You hit your first home run today. Uh, just walk me through that at bat. Uh, when did you know it was gone? Uh, just walk me through it. I didn't really know it was gone until I was rounding first, and I thought it was going to go over the right fielder's head, so I was going to try for a triple, but then she stopped running for it, and I knew it was over. So. That, that was one of the fastest uh, pass around the bases that I've seen anyone that's hit a home run here. Uh, you were booking it for sure, but the speed has been part of your game today. You also dropped down two punt singles as well. Uh, just talk about uh, your approach to the plates. and. Uh, whether you know you're going to swing or drop down the bunt? I mostly read the defense and first and third. If they're back, then I know I can lay a bunt down. So my bunts have been my go-to lately just because they've been working for me, but yeah. Just watching the pregame, you guys are very loose, uh, very calm today, and it's been a good weekend so far. We actually just won all six games we played this weekend. Uh, what's, how's the team felt? Uh, how's the team been feeling the last couple of days? I'm very proud of my team. I think we've really gelled as a team and came together, and I think we're ready to for Tennessee. And... Nina, another uh, pair, another doubleheader today, another pair of home runs. Uh, just talk about what you were seeing at the plates, and just talk a little bit about your power numbers so far. Yeah, um, I mean, I just for me, just hitting is just see the ball and hit the ball. So 
basically I was just waiting for a good pitch to drive and that was my first one and then I think the wind kind of helped me on the second one so <laughs> but other than that hey even if the wind helps it still counts yeah exactly so, <laughs> that's why I told coach yeah. four home runs but uh, you also made your first appearance in the circle today too pitching the last three innings against St. Bonaventure and you picked up your first save mm -hmm. uh, what was it like to get out there and uh, actually just pitch for the first time. Yeah, I mean, it felt great uh, to be here and to finally contribute as a pitcher. It feels great to get out there and just throw strikes and that's what I, that's what I did, just throw strikes and that's all. <laughs> uh, watching the pregame, the team was very loose, the team was laughing. It, it's just a good atmosphere to be around right now. Mm -hmm. CSU softball's won yeah. seven in a row right now. Just talk about what it's like to be a part of the team, especially with this winning streak going on. Yeah, um, we were just really excited to come out here and to play. Uh, we go to Tennessee next week, and I think we're just ready to get on the road and to just, you know, get some wins at Tennessee and have a great tournament.